So I've been here contemplating for the past five minutes how to intro this video, and I don't think there's really any good way other than just to dive right into it. Every year, for as long as I can remember, my brothers and I have been trying to outdo each other on this time of giving at Christmas and give each other ridiculous, definitely oftentimes inappropriate gifts in front of the entire family. Uh, and this year, it's going to be a little different because we all have kids now and we have to be responsible. But that is not an excuse for doing something that's going to piss your brother off. So for my brother, for whatever reason, we have a group chat and there is this dancing sheep gif that really, really triggers my brother. And it only triggered him more when I figured out how to Photoshop his face in it. And it gave me an idea one night. What if I could motorize this and add music and maybe lights if I don't run out of time? And that's where I am today. So if you want to see how I did it, stick around for another Arduino project. So at the heart of this is the dancing sheep, which is my brother. And I thought about from the beginning, I want this to be funny enough to get laughs, but nice enough that he puts next to his bed because this is the kind of humor that he likes. And he likes this kind of stuff. So to do that, I'm gonna make a custom picture frame. This is eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I've got some plate glass. I've got tons of scrap wood. We're going to make a nice custom picture frame, put this behind glass so it can last a long time and all the controls will be hidden on the back. In order to control the body, we're going to have to control it in three different servo motors because I don't feel like making linkages and all that stuff. I'm not a clock maker. Uh, to do that, we're going to use simple servo motors. These are tiny, cheap, and expensive. You can, you can adjust these and, and control these very easily as well as some speakers because I want to play some funny sounds on this. And then at the heart of this, we're going to be using an Arduino Uno which is, if you're not familiar with it, is about a $10, $15 microcontroller. Super easy to program and getting started with. If you haven't seen it, I'll post some links down in the description below so you can check it out, as well as check out some of the other videos I've done with the Arduino Uno, as well as an SD card reader so we can put custom sound on there and an amplifier so we can boost the sound up just a little bit. That is the heart of it. So and with that said, we're gonna get started on the woodworking side of this and build us a picture frame. So the frame's done, sitting in paint, we're gonna start working on electronics in the Arduino. Because I've worked with servos before on the Arduino, we don't need to try to figure it out just first. I wanna figure out how to put a wave file through the speaker from an SD card. In order to do that, we looked up some libraries. I just need to get some music. The one we're gonna actually put on here is gonna be a lot funnier, but it's gonna get copyright strike if I put it on YouTube. So we're gonna go in the royalty-free library on YouTube and show you and illustrate this in the same way. So first thing we get started is pick out some music. So I'm on the audio library. I picked out a song that we're gonna use. And looks something like this. Are you listening? Damn. All right, so not as funny as the one we're gonna use on the actual unit, but this will get the job done. So first step here we need to do is convert our MP3 file to a WAV file that can be used on the Arduino. And to do that, we're using a website online. The important thing to note is that it needs to be converted to an 8-bit at 1600 Hertz. Uh, with uh, mono audio channels and the PCM format's going to be an unsigned 8-bit. I'll post the link to this on my website and you guys can follow this step by step as I did. So here's what we got going on to play music out of this thing. Got a couple different parts. I got a breadboard so that I can stick my micro SD card reader into here. This uh, allows you to send the audio to, to the Arduino. This is performed with four different inputs to the Arduino plus uh, voltage in your ground. 
I brought this on the breadboard so I can make a little DC bus on it. And these are in here, and I'll show you how this is all wired on the schematic on the project article. And then I have my DC power source because I want to be able to turn this on independent of having USB or a wall wart. So this is a six volt power supply, four AA batteries that can turn on and off. In addition to that, I have this stuff running into an audio amp and this amplifier allows me to control the volume um, with the switch as well as to boost the sound just a little bit and get the most out of these speakers that I can without getting fancy. And that's pretty much it. Speakers plug into the wires. As I said, this comes through the amp to provide my audio output, which I'm gonna pair off for two different speakers. And that's pretty much it. So now we're gonna upload the code and see what it looks like. So I'll post this library and this code on my website. This is something I downloaded online, not something you have to recreate. It's using a library for loading from an SD card and playing the WAV file. All you have to do is ensure that your speaker pin is on the correct pin and that the file name matches that of your file name. Take something simple, one word, so that it's easy to write here. It's, it's character sensitive, and that's it. And you pretty much put the WAV file on the SD card, which will go in the reader over here, which will upload to our computer now. This is the micro SD card, which can use to put in our SD card reader. We'll put the WAV file on here, load it back in place, upload this code to the Arduino, we play music. All right, so there we go. I got it uploaded and now we're gonna turn it on and see if it works. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Yeah. And we got sound. That's what I love about the Arduino. A couple of lines of code to download, plug in some wires and you're ready to go. Next, we're gonna hit up the servo motors. So, servo motor side of this sounds more difficult, but it's actually even easier. It's only three wires for each servo, and the positive and negative are gonna come off a common DC bus anyway, so you're really down to just a couple signals. For this case, these hobby servos have three wires. Traditionally, they're yellow, black, and red. In this case, they're a little bit off color, but the red is your uh, DC power supply, along with your black, or in this case, brown, is your negative and this yellowish color is your signal, which will be wired back to one of your digital PWM pins on the Arduino. And that's pretty much it. DC power, uh, digital IO, and with the PWM. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna upload the code because we've set the pin correctly to pin number nine. In this case, we'll change it to six. And I'll change my code as we defined our pin. And the only thing we have to really figure out with this project now is the angle of rotation of each of these to make it look cool and then getting three to work simultaneously, which I don't expect is going to be too challenging either. So I've just uploaded the code and we can see what it looks like. There you go. Again, this is why I love the Arduino as a kind of a developmental tool for small projects is that you can buy a $10 board, plug it into a USB port, download a library and make stuff work. So we're gonna play with the rotation, where it's gonna go, and then I gotta offset these probably. One will be inverse, maybe the torso, and the rest will be running at a delayed offset. And we'll make it all work. To help figure out the angle a little bit easier, I've identified that this guy's kind of keyed because it has a little nub on the top of it to give me some orientation. And if I put this guy on here and just observe what it does, I can see that I've told it to move 90 degrees and I can see that the zero position is actually pointing to the top of this nub and 90 degrees would be 90 degrees rotated from there. And, and from there I can install these motors in the right orientation because I only have 120 degrees of sweep with these particular motors. I don't have a whole lot of flexibility. I gotta get the orientation correct and that'll do it.
Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. And there you have it. There's the finished project. This is a lot of fun. I know he's going to enjoy it. He loves this kind of stuff, even though the thing's going to probably piss him off at first. It'll be a good reaction to get. Uh, I will be posting the project plans, the schematics, the code and everything online with graphics so you guys can follow along. I did run into a couple hiccups with the programming as well as um, decoupling the power sources between the servos and the audio drivers. Not 100% great but it works for now and I can tinker with this later with him on another day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And if you want to see more videos like this with a mix of woodworking and electronics and home projects, stick around. i got more coming up ahead. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon.